let's take a look at our mission. We want to eradicate extreme poverty, hunger, health, and education related issues. We want to use technology to ease the communication between the rich and poor people. And finally, we want to reduce the economic gap between the rich and poor. Let's take a look at the current scenario. More than 50% of world population have an average poverty income of less than 2.50 USD. 22,000 children die each day due to poverty. Total of 40% school going students cannot even complete their primary education due to financial constraints. Less than 1% of what the rich nations spend every year on weapons was needed to put every child into school by the year 2000. And yet, it did not even happen. Every year, there are 350 to 500 million cases of malaria with 1 million fatalities. Much of the fatalities occur due to financial constraints of the patients. Around 27 to 28% of all children in developing countries are estimated to be underweight or stunted. This happens because the families can't even afford the cost of baby food. Now, what are we proposing here? The proposed solution is online donation system better together. The economically solvent people will provide financial aids to the poor and needy people to, throughout the system. Anyone across the globe in need of money can post his or her requests, which after proper validation will be visible on the website. Seeing those please, interested individuals will donate money. So, this system will guaranteedly meet the minimum development goals. But how? We will ensure that increased number of donations from economically solvent sector of the world to the poor and needy will occur. Poor people of the world will get an opportunity to lead a better life in terms of economic condition. Economic gap between the rich and poor will be reduced and poverty level of the world will come down. Thus, minimum development goals of eliminating poverty can be achieved through better together. This system certainly calls. The system will be initially implemented as a test case. The time period of test case is around 18 months and the region of implementation must have internet facilities. The per capita income, population density, and availability of internet services should be considered. Now, the cost is divided to two parts, fixed cost and variable cost. The fixed cost includes server acquisition cost, domain purchase cost, and others, and the total is 67,325 USD. The variable cost can be divided to two parts. The first part, hardware maintenance cost for two years is 13,500 USD and the software maintenance cost is $14,750 for the two years. Now, what about the cost to the recipient? The cost of using internet to register and making a request is considered here and you will be surprised to know that the cost is less than 0.5 USD around the world. The better together system will revolve around IS server. We will be using IS 7 here. The admin panel can be accessed through Windows 8 tablet or Windows phone and this will be using WCF RIA services. Also, for the native people, they can use the browser to access better to the system. In the back end, we will be using Microsoft Silverlight 5, ASP.NET MVC 3, Microsoft.NET Framework 4 and finally SQL Server 2008. Let us take a look at the home page of Better Together. As shown here, the home page consists of two sections. The section on the left consists of the pictures of the poor people who are applying for donation. The section on the right shows the names of the donors who have contributed the most as sh shown in the top contributors list. If any poor person wanting to take service from Better Together then he or she must be registered into the system. Let us take a look at how to register into the Better Together system. The user is required to enter a valid username, followed by his or her full name. Then the residential address of the user must be entered. The residential address is entered to help the administrator verify the user. Next, the country where the user belongs must be selected. After that, the bank account ID of the user should be entered into the field. Afterwards, two roles are available for the user to enter. The user 
can enter the either donor or recipient. In this case, we have entered it as recipient. Next, the email address of the user should be entered. Finally, the user should enter a password and then reconfirm the password. After logging into the system, the receiver will see two new tabs. One is the profile tab, the other is the my request tab. Now if a user wants to make a request, let's see how to do it. The request list is empty, so the recipient wants to make a new request. For that, the title of the request must be entered, which in this case is need money for cyclone devastated life. After that, the category of the request must be specified as well. Since it's cyclone, so we select calamity. Next, the description of the request should be given, followed by the amount that is requested by the recipient. After entering the amount, a picture of the current state of the recipient should be entered as well. Then the create button should be pressed. And after that, the status, the current status and the details of the recipient is shown. It is in the pending state since it has not been validated and verified by the administrator. So no request can be granted by now. Keeping the post PC error in mind, the admins panel of Better Together has been developed as a Metro style application. As it can be seen, on the top left corner consists of all the incoming requests that has not yet been verified. One of the requests is already selected and on the right corner we can see the name of the requester together with their address and the requested amount. Also a picture of the requester current situation is shown here. Followed by that is a detailed description of the requester's current condition with his state. After validating the condition of the requester, the administrator can decide whether to approve the request or deny the request using these buttons. The donor must be logged into the system in order to make a look donation. After logging into the system, three new tabs are available to the donor. The profile tab, the ongoing request tab, and the my donations tab. Upon clicking on the ongoing request tab, a list of all the available requests are shown to the donor. The donor can filter the search by selecting a specific category. Upon clicking on the filter button, the list of the requests available on that category is shown. In this case, only one request is available in the calamity type that was selected by the donor. Interested donor can click on the view details link to see the details of this request. Then the donate button can be clicked to make a donation to this request. The amount of donation must be entered in this field. When the donate button is clicked, if the donation is successful, the confirmation message is shown.